Let's look at an example use of the relationships that we've just developed. So let me consider a square body of dimension d by d. d is 100 millimeters. And uh, it's, we have a given displacement field for this body. So we have motion in the x direction, which is alpha x squared over d, and motion in the y direction, which is alpha y over d. And alpha is equal to 0 0.1 millimeters. So this is my setup here. And let's ask the question of, first of all, finding what the strain field in the body is. So we're given the displacement field. All we have to do is find the strain field. And then let's also calculate the angle change at the center of the body between a vertical and horizontal line. So first let's start with the strain field. So for the strain field we're given the displacements so really all we have to do is take the derivative. So the normal strain in the x direction is the derivative of u with respect to x so that gives me 2 alpha x over d. The normal strain in the y direction is the partial derivative of v with respect to y so that gives me alpha d. And the shear strain, gamma xy, is the mixed partials here. So the derivative of u with respect to y plus the derivative of v with respect to x. And that gives me 0 plus 0. So that's going to be equal to 0. Okay. So this tells me that the normal strain is changing from point to point. For instance, as I move in the x direction, the y normal strains are everywhere constant. And the shear strains are everywhere constant. They're equal to 0. Now the second question is, what is the angle change at the center of the body between a vertical and horizontal line? So if I draw my picture, I go to the center of the body, and now I look at this 90 degree angle between a horizontal line and a vertical line. Well, that's nothing other than gamma xy, but gamma xy is zero in this case, so my answer then is there's zero angle change at the point of interest between the two lines that I've defined.